Welcome to the audio phase demonstration podcast. Use headphones or earbuds for best results. The first sound you will hear are the words in phase. It sounds like it's coming from right in front of you. Because the sounds are equal in both ears, it sounds like a monaural sound. Compare these two. In phase. In phase. The first one was a stereo signal with the sound equal in both ears. The second one was a mixed down of the two signals into a mono signal. Notice how they sound the same. The sound appears to be coming from in front of you in both cases. Listen again. In phase. In phase. Now listen to this sound. It doesn't sound like it's right in front of you. In fact, you can't really place where the sound is coming from at all. Listen again. Compare the in phase versus the out of phase sound. In phase. In phase. In phase. I mentioned in class that out of phase sounds would cancel each other out. That's not happening here though, because you're listening to two sounds with your two separate ears. They don't cancel in your head, but it is disconcerting. However, if I mix the in phase out of phase test loop into a mono signal, you get this. In phase. In phase. In phase. You can clearly see that having two signals out of phase with each other can be a problem. Now, this was a test signal. Let's see what happens when we mix a sample of music. Here's the sample in full stereo. And if I mix the two channels down to mono, you get something like this. It still sounds pretty good. This is important for us to remember because sometimes you'll want to listen to music through only one speaker. For example, if you're listening to music through your iPod's internal speaker, the iPod mixes both stereo channels down to mono, then sends them to the one little speaker in the iPod's case. Small and expensive radios and television sets often only have one speaker in them to save costs during manufacturing. So sometimes our stereo material will be listened to by people with only one speaker in their equipment. But if by accident, one of the original stereo channels ended up out of phase, and it's possible to do this in audio systems by wiring the equipment the wrong way, as we'll see in the coming weeks. In stereo, it wouldn't be too bad, although it sounds a bit different from the original stereo recording. However, if I ended up mixing these two channels into mono, it would sound like this. It's easy to make a stereo recording with two microphones in a recording studio, of course. But as we discovered in class, it's possible to set up the microphones so that they're picking up signals from the same sound source out of phase with one another. Okay, maybe not completely out of phase like these examples, but certainly partially out of phase. So we need to know all about this phase stuff so that we can make high quality recordings and to monitor our mixes so that we don't end up with problems later on. <laughs>